everyone, welcome back. We are going thrifting. I'm here at Goodwill right now. So I'm super excited. As always, the timestamp will be here for the haul itself. Feel free to fast forward to it if you want to, but without further ado, let's sit in there. Welcome back everybody to my local Goodwill, AKA the Bougie Thrift Store. So on this particular day, I asked you guys a lot of questions on Instagram, one of which was, would you buy this? I was so intrigued by this. I love the shape. And so I wanted to see if you guys were feeling it, if you were feeling it too. And I was actually genuinely surprised by the answer. I posed the same question for this item as well. I was intrigued to see if you guys thought this one was good. You guys didn't really care for it and I can definitely understand why. Oh, and I saw this cute, adorable thing. I'm not sure if they're candy dishes or what, but I think they're so cute. I think they would look so great as candles, but again, I think it might be crystal, so I don't know. And something I haven't seen before at the thrift store, I found these corvals. I felt like they were kind of more farmhouse style, but they were $24.99, which I thought was a little high priced. Oh, and I didn't get these glasses, but I thought they were so cute. Basically on the little outside of it, it kind of tells you how to make the perfect Irish coffee. So I thought that was incredibly cute and adorable. Oh, and I had to stop and look at this vase. Now it's nothing special, but I've been really gravitating towards like bulbous kind of vases in particular. I think that's just the style that I'm really into right now. I found some cute items though, like for instance, this little cute little tray or dish. It was wooden and it's shaped like a flower, so I think that's what really intrigued me about it. While in this section, I also found these planters or vases, I'm not sure what you would call them, but I thought they were very simple, but still a cute shape, but I ultimately passed on them just because I am looking for very unique shapes at this point. And while I was walking through this aisle, not much was catching my eye. I felt like I was just kind of moving through it rather quickly until my eye landed on this plate. Now, I don't know much about this plate. However, I knew that it was much more valuable than the 99 cent sticker that was on it. Oh, and I found this beautiful flower print in the art section. I didn't end up getting it, and that was mostly because of the price. It wasn't a price that I felt comfortable paying, even though it was probably, in my opinion, definitely worth it. But after that, I spent the rest of my time just perusing the rest of the aisles. I looked obviously in the lamp section to see if I could find any lamps that really spoke to me. However, although cute ones, nothing really sparked my interest. So unfortunately, no lamps this time around. So I'm all done shopping in there. I didn't find too much. That's okay though, but let's go to Old Faithful. So I was really curious to see what Old Faithful had as far as home decor went. So as soon as I saw this piece, this brought back so many memories, not because of the style itself, but just because the pastel colors, like those were my colors as a kid. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that was in a kid's bedroom though. And while walking down this aisle, I found this candlestick holder. I thought it was cute, something a little bit different. I ultimately decided not to get it though. And unfortunately for me, or fortunately, however you wanna look at it, the basket section had been lacking, so I didn't find any baskets that really spoke to me. I was just looking around. They had some canisters, but nothing that really grabbed my interest. That last basket there was a little intriguing, but I still didn't pick it up. I did, however, see this candle holder. It was vault scrap, and I saw a picture of it on eBay, so I know that they're quite popular, but unfortunately, there was only one of them. So something that I've learned in the past few months where I've had you come thrift with me is always stop in the glass section. You never know what you're gonna find there. You can find some pretty valuable pieces, some beautiful pieces that you might not find anywhere else. And so I always stop now just to see what they have. And in the furniture section, I found this little magazine holder. I think that's what it is anyways. I just thought it was a cute shape. There was also this really big ornate console style table, which I was actually surprised by seeing. And while I was there, I also saw this cute dresser. I just liked the curvature on the front of it. And it was actually in pretty good condition too. And I'm pretty sure this mirror right here actually went with the entryway table that I showed previously. Overall though, I was genuinely surprised about the amount of furniture here because normally this Salvation Army doesn't have much when it comes to furniture. I also really liked this artwork. I'm not sure why, but it really surprised me. And I think that's just because nautical and coastal decor isn't something I normally gravitate towards. 
I did think this pan was really cute and adorable though. Now I tried to look up this piece in the store but could not find any information on it. It was priced $19.99 though, so maybe they knew something that I didn't. But I will say I was genuinely bummed that I could not find any information on this piece at all. All right, all done shopping for today. Not a lot, but I'm still happy with what I got. So let's jump to that haul now. Okay, so first up is this. So I showed you guys this in the footage, but I love the shape. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Now it reminds me almost of like mid-century kind of design, but I could not walk away from this one. I just thought this one was really cute. This is gorgeous. I don't know why I love it so much. Now I'm not sure if it's like a craft or if it's actually a vase, maybe it's something else. I don't think it's a decanter because it doesn't have the top on it. Maybe a wine? Maybe it like had wine in it. So it's not like a pure glass color. I feel like it has a little bit of a tint to it. And you can really only tell when it's up against like a white background. I'm pretty sure, I already took the tag off. <laughs> I took the tag off of this, but I'm pretty sure it was $5.99 for this. And yeah, for something so unique, I'm like, I'll pay it. So this one was for sure like, to me worth $5.99 for this. So I love this one. Yeah, I love it. Next up, you also saw this in the footage. It is this. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know what these are, but I opened it and it has like a fragrant smell to it. So maybe it was like a potpourri canister or something. I could be totally off. But if anyone does actually know what this is, I'd love to know what it is. But super cute. First of all, I don't know if it's an acorn or if it's supposed to be like maybe a pineapple. I don't know, but it's really cute. Um, ooh. I love it. I don't know when I turned this corner of like wanting to see glass in all this kind of like decorative beauty, but I guess that's me now. But yeah, really happy I picked this one up. This one was $3.99 though, so I'd have to think that it's probably on the older side just based off of like this. You can kind of see the wear on it. So I'd say $3.99 for this is a pretty good price. Okay, next up is this. So I also asked you guys on Instagram if you would be interested in this, but I love this. I really do. Now, like I know this is a vintage piece. I've seen it used as a fruit basket before, and this one unfortunately is very worn. It's seen some better days. So the debate in my mind though, because of the fact that it's so worn, is to either keep it the worn look, which I mean I do like, or to kind of spray paint it all one color. I'm really not sure what I should do with it. But this one was $7.99. Now I know it's a vintage piece. In that regard, I definitely do feel like $7.99 is not a bad price. However, I don't know, this one is not in the best shape. Like there's some metal pieces that are not attached to the rim. But I mean, obviously I still paid for it because I really like the style. I saw another person actually get this at their local thrift store. They turned it into a sconce. I mean, I'm a basic. So this is probably gonna be used as a basket. Um, but I really thought it was really cute. I love it. And yeah, still really happy I got this one. All right, next up is this face. Y'all were hating on this on Instagram. I hear you guys, I hear you guys. I definitely understand. Here's what I wanna say about this. First of all, the color is all right, but like, it's like a shimmery pale pink beige. I went for this because of the height. I felt like this one I could easily DIY, make it look more modern or whatever I was feeling as far as like this goes. So I wasn't too worried about it. I feel like this one would be great just as a white vase, just a sleek, minimal white vase. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do with this one. And this one was $6.99, I don't know. That's a little high to be honest, I feel like. Also, like it, the top part is out of view right now and I'm just seeing like, it looks like a baseball bat. Maybe with some greenery, I'll feel a little bit better about this purchase, but I don't know, I'm second guessing myself now. Next up is this tray. I know I showed you guys this. I really like that it kind of looks like a flower to me. <sighs> Am I upset with myself that I bought another trinket dish when I don't need another trinket dish? Yeah. I mean, I genuinely pick up stuff because I like it. I think I'm going to use it. But yeah, super cute. This was that little piece of boho in my life that I've been craving because I can't find it anywhere else in my thrift stores lately. So of course, because of that, and because it's wood, I had to pick it up. 
and this one was a dollar ninety nine that's fine I paid it now I showed you guys this in the clip it's funny because I don't know a lot about these plates but as soon as I saw it I'm like this is probably more of a collector's item I also knew that I'm like this is worth more than 99 cents now how much more I didn't really know but I picked it up anyways like mostly I felt like this wasn't given a fair chance and it's in pretty good condition I was like I don't know how much you're worth but you're worth more than that. So yeah, I picked it up. So I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't remember picking this next one up. I really don't. It's not like I even got a large haul. Like, this is not a large haul. This is probably one of my smallest hauls that I've ever gotten, but like, I legit don't remember getting this one. So I got this. So first and foremost, I know why I picked this up. It's probably because of the cracked porcelain, that look where it's been aged and therefore it's kind of like just cracked. Like I love that look. But also, it's beautiful. All the details on this are quite amazing. Truly in awe of this piece. Now, I don't know much about Warwick China. I mean, I don't know anything about Warwick China, but I just think it's so beautiful. The whole piece itself, the way it's kind of structured and made, is gorgeous. And this one was $5.99. I think it was worth that price. It seems like an older piece, and therefore I think $5.99 was worth it. Okay, and last but not least is this. Okay, you can't see me. I'm gonna hold it like this, even though it's not the right orientation. I apologize. I said this in the footage, like this is really like coastal nautical to me. This is not my style. However, I just saw it and I was just like, wow, that's so cool. I mean, even if this is not your style, I feel like $4.99, that's a good price for something this size. Now that makes me wonder though too, that picture that I saw that was $19.99, I'm like, what was that? If they priced this $4.99 but priced that $19.99, they must have, like, it's killing me. They must have known something, right? They must have known what that was. Or maybe someone was just like, meh, $19.99. I mean, I don't know if I would have gotten it, but like, did I pass up on something really valuable and not know it? I am curious, I'm so curious. No keen eye here, so. But back to this picture, so I really thought it was cool. And I really like too that it's not too infused with colors. I liked the image on this a lot, so. I'm really happy I got this one. And $4.99, five bucks basically for this, like, I think that's a really good price. All right guys, and that is it for the thrift with me and haul today, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, if I pass that vibe check for you, definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little notification bell so you're in the know when I post again. If you guys want to come along with me thrifting, see the behind the scenes, if you want to see more hauls, if you want all that good stuff, I'll leave my Instagram handle here. But on Sunday, June 27th, I'm going to be doing my first haul on Instagram. It's from trips to the thrift store where I did not have my camera in tow and so you guys were along. This time around it will be on my Instagram stories. Hopefully next time I build up the courage to actually do an Instagram live because I feel like it would be amazing to actually talk to you guys. That is the one thing that I'm looking forward to. But I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh. Hold on, hold on. Are you still on? Yeah, yeah, you're still on. It's good.